making a lot of choices, and I swear this stuff is double the price than what we paid for it. Let's get after it. This is what two years of neglect looks like. I want to be spending my days in here. Cold days, my rainy days, my nice days. We are at Lowe's to get some sand to fix that big hole that we have for the plumbing issue, and I just cannot help myself. I'm looking at all these seeds and Lord knows I don't need any. I've got like a thousand at home. I just got some shipments of seeds from the mail, but God, it makes me so happy. Spring is almost here. How much is that? $5.40. Perfect, I was thinking it was 13. I was gonna say, you <laughs> get that, get something else. I think we only need, we need four or five. It's worth getting an extra just in oh, yeah. case, then coming back for it. Oh, yeah. And we could use the extra. The chickens can use it for math. All right, how big? That's not clear, is it? That's like they tinted. That's tinted. That's Here's smoke. clear. Wait, yes, that is a. That's not it. That's just. Here we go. That's it right there. 26 inch. That's only eight foot. Well, see, that's smoke. That's this one. Okay. So where's this one? It's going to be probably around the same price. Yeah. But, so that's only oh, eight maybe, foot. Oh, maybe this one? Blue? What's that one? It's white. It's white vinyl, vinyl crystal. Huh. I really don't know. Just trying to figure out what the cost is going to be because I really need the greenhouse to be fixed up pretty soon. It's mid-February and I really need to get my seed starts in there. But, oh, here's more over here, babe. But with inflation, everything has gone up so much. So we thought we'd get kind of a ballpark on how much it's gonna cost to fix. There's just so many choices. A lot of choices. And I swear this stuff is double the price than what yeah, we paid it's for. It's a lot more than it I guarantee it is. So we need to measure the panels and yep. the actual size of the roof before we could even try. Correct. So let's write down some of these prices. Like, this is acceptable. That's a lot, but I don't think I want that smoked. Is that one. Yeah, and so then this, one's this is crystal. A couple dollars that one's less, clear. But... There's no price. But then there's like this blue over here. I don't know what those are. Maybe, oh, they're just taller pieces, maybe. Yeah. They're the same size to me. Yeah. But they're calling sea so they're coaster. Eight foot eight. Clear is 20 bucks. So we got the sand a while ago. We're gonna fill this in with sand just so the rocks from the dirt doesn't mess with the, the PVC piping. Plus that's what they recommend is the sand too. So we're gonna get started putting this thing together and closing it up because we're supposed to get rain and snow tomorrow. So let's get after it. try to put minimal rock so all this stuff right here I don't want that going in there so we want to put just the, the dirt so if you'll kind of look through it like why you're scooping out or like yeah and what you when you see you want me to show with you well see this mom can you if we shovel can you look for rock yeah
All right, if you are new to the channel, I wanted to show you my vintage window greenhouse. Now we built this four years ago. I'll share the video right here if you wanna check out that series, all the different steps we took to hand build this. The problem is the roof. The roof panels sit in the hot Oklahoma sun and they dry rot. And then we had a hailstorm, and now there's holes everywhere. I can't start seeds. I can't do anything until this is fixed. And that's why when we went to Lowe's, we were looking at roofing options. It's really hard to see the hail damage from here. I'll have to get another angle. This is what two years of neglect looks like. Going to work full time, six days a week, did not do very well on the greenhouse. Now, the Oklahoma sun did not do very well on the greenhouse either. I did lightly sand this, I mean lightly, like just get the big chunks off and then I painted it with a latex white paint four years ago. As you see, it is all peeled off. The cool thing is some of the original paint are on some of these windows and you can still see the colors that they painted these houses. Let me show you this. Right here, you can see there's yellow, there's a creamy tan, and then there's like a popular green. So these are probably 50s, 60s, 1950s, 1960s. Um, you can see where my paint is peeling off. So very, very neglected greenhouse, needs a lot of help and we are gonna do it because it is mid-February, tomorrow's Valentine's Day, and I have things to do. So yes, I might have to start my seed starts in the house. That's fine, I do it every year, but I wanna be spending my days in here. I wanna be spending my cold days, my rainy days, my nice days. I wanna spend all my time right now in here. And in the meantime, while I'm growing these beautiful seeds, we can come and redo this whole garden, you guys. It is gonna be an adventure. If you haven't seen or heard what Jeremy's plans are, I'll put that video right here and you can check out and see what Jeremy wants to do to the garden. It's gonna be amazing, but goodness, our days have been limited. It just snowed and then before that it rained all day. So today is a beautiful day, it's in the 60s, but not enough time in one day to get this all done. So next thing to do is the roof. You can see the holes better from here. My poor roof. See all those hail holes? It's terrible. We will figure it out. We will get it together because I just love this greenhouse so much. Please look at my mess. I need encouragement. I need to get out here, reorganize. See, it used to be organized. It was organized there. It was organized here. But once May hits, there is no coming in this greenhouse. It is way too hot. I have to keep some of the windows open and it is a ghost town in here because it gets to 120 degrees real quick in here. So once May hits, everything is gonna be outside here in the garden. Thank you so much for going with us today to Lowe's and watching the boys and I fix up the water leak area and talk a little bit about this greenhouse. If you haven't already, please hit like and subscribe if you wanna keep seeing our journey here in the homestead. We have a whole bunch to do. I feel like we have abandoned and neglected this place for two years and this spring is a time to start watching. And if you haven't already, go back and check out our previous videos. Kind of get up to date with what we're doing here on our homestead. But thank you for watching you guys. Hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Thank you.